Okay, it's Philip Jeffrey of Fade to Play. I'm here with Matteo Gaez. We're at the Late Fragment DVD launch in Vancouver. And why don't you tell us who you are and what you're doing as it relates to the film. Okay, so... Uh, it's going to be better without the chewing gum. <laughs> so, uh, do, you want to st do you want me to start with where I come from? What is yes. my background? Okay, yes, that so, would be great. Um, as you can notice, uh, I'm from France. Uh, so I was born and raised in Paris, and um, I spent a few years over there, like doing short films and stuff like that. And uh, I ended up uh, working with uh, Bernardo Bertolucci on his last movie, The Dreamers. And during the the movie, we had a very close relationship. And he told me, Matteo, you have to move on the other side of the ocean, and you will be a better guy uh, working. Uh, you know, in North America. So I thought about that, it was kind of a little virus came into my mind, my brain, and my body, and I was unable to get rid of that. So one day I decided, okay, let's try, because it was not really working for me in France. I think because of my behavior, because of, you know, in France you need to be part, it's like a monarchy, so you need to be part of the system, and I was not that kind of guy, you know, so I moved here, I did a short film here called L'Ultima Note, The Last Night in English. It's about a threesome in, a, in an hotel night for, for a night. And, uh, and that short film ended up doing very well in festival and, 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 and it was one of the best short films uh, in 2003. So I came in Canada with that short film. And uh, after that, it, it was like very easy, you know, it's one step after another. Finally, I ended up meeting some producers, starting to work on a f uh, developing a feature film. And uh, I ended up meeting uh, the Canadian Film Center and the NFB, who are like the co-producers and the producers of Late Fragment, because they were doing a casting all around Canada to try to find three writers, directors, who will be able to fit together to direct that movie. And they did a casting, they ended up uh, seeing uh, L'Ultima Note the last night, they loved it and they asked me for an interview and uh, I was uh, part of the movie with the two other directors called uh, Daryl Cloran and Anita Dorn. And what was it like actually creating the film? Actually it was very interesting because, you know, I'm a very conservative guy, so I'm into linear narrative fiction, stuff like that, so I was not expecting being part of my destiny to end up working on a project like that because you know you have to understand that usually when you do a movie it's a, it's a director and a producer it's, a, it's like a couple you know and on that project it was like three different writer directors and two producers so we used to call us uh, ourselves a dysfunctional family at the end of the day because we, we had to put our ego on the side and to accept that we will be all together on that boat, but it will not be each. Uh, it will be each other's baby. You know what I mean? So, so nobody have to take the identity or to take the, the full responsibility of it. Uh, it was like um, trying together to find a way to deliver to the audience something that it will be coercive and uh, and, and and entertaining. So it was a very interesting process, and also because of the interactivity, when we start to work on that project, what we did was like each of us, the three writer director, uh, were like working on, on our own piece, directing our own piece, knowing that at the end we will have to put everything together and and and, and dislock or destroy everything into pieces like a puzzle to be able to, to find the the link and to make that interactivity. My understanding is that each scene sort of had to work independently because you didn't know what was coming before yeah. or after. Yeah, that's, that's the issue. When, when we were into the process, writing and directing, it was like a, a normal feature film, you know, each of us did a feature film. But after, all the footage were like uh, divided into little pieces because the idea of Flayed Fragment is that you have three hours of footage but all these three hours of footage are made in a way that you can also, as an audience, do your director cut and do your own trajectory and be able to move into the movie because the idea is like you have your remote in the end, in your hand 
and whenever you want to click, you click. And if you click, you leave the place where you are to go deeper into the movie, following one character that you decide to follow, and going to some kind of hidden scenes that give you more information about the movie. So, 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 so that was the the, the main uh, idea of the movie to be able to for the audience to navigate into the movie and in each new trajectory to have access to new scenes or, or to longer scenes and to get more information about the movie itself so to have a different sense of what is the story about you know why these characters start there and finish there you know but everything was settled we spent like four months putting all the little scenes for every scene we had a little steel picture of the scene we put like four or five hundred pictures on the wall and all of them were a little part of the movie and we were like building link going back and forth to each of the scenes to be able to to um, to make that little uh, puzzle being uh, 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 possible for people to understand and are you happy with the end result? Oh yeah, I love it. Uh, actually, I was like, during the whole process, I was... It's not that I was confident or not confident, it's just that because it was new, we are the first one in the world trying to do that. So you know how it is when you experiment for the first time something, you don't know what's going to happen, because you don't know the rules, because you are inventing the rule and experimenting the rule at the same time. So the issue is that every time you, sometimes you face a wall, and when you're in front of the wall, you're like, oh, it doesn't work. Let's find another way to do it, you know? So, so I was not thinking that I would be capable to go that way. And finally, because I was working with amazing people, all together, we find a way. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, now, you, um, I'm very happy to be here tonight. Um, I think I'm blessed and I'm lucky uh, to, to be part of that project and uh, I don't know if I will do it again uh, I'm now I'm going back to a more uh, narrative feature film my next feature film is a very normal basic feature film so I'm going back to normal but um, I think I'm, I'm not the same person now and the way I'm looking at movie now uh, is more uh, close to who I am because of that very